In this lesson, we're going to continue to look at uh, the use of tables within Titanium, actions to button presses uh, within uh, the interface. So right now we've just built the table. Uh, we now want to add um, event uh, listeners that uh, make something happen when you select uh, the rows. And what we're going to do is use navigation. So I'm going to select a row item that will navigate to a new window. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and get started. Um, so the last time uh, we had built uh, this list win uh, module and we added that to this uh, main application and I have a navigation uh, group that was created and passed to the list, um, uh, the list module. And so what I want to do now is uh, create a table view uh, listener that will react to a um, selection of a row. And then um, what we'll do is navigate then to uh, a new view. So let me first start off by creating the, data, the uh, code for this new view that we're going to navigate to. And it's going to be a fairly simple thing. I'm going to call this thing detail. Uh, and again, I'm using a common JS module to do this. I'm going to put a title in here and then a detailed message um, that uh, is going to be displayed in the view. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and create a window. And the title for this window is going to be the parameter that's passed in. And we're going to use a back, uh, white background for this. And then I need a label that I'm going to add to the window. And this text for this label is just going to be the detailed information that was sent as the second parameter. Okay, and then I'm going to add a label to the window and return the window. And I need to export the module. And we're done. Okay, so this is... Uh, this is a view that's going to be created that'll just have a single label in the middle. Uh, and this is the thing that we're going to browse to once we've selected a, a row in the, uh, in the table. Okay, so uh, what I need to do is I need to add a, an event listener to the, uh, uh, to the table. So I'm going to add, oops, Listener that will react to a click. And then we're going to uh, do this function. Uh, so what we need to do is uh, we need to make sure that uh, what's been actually selected is one of these um, list window uh, or these table view rows and specifically this uh, uh, list win row. And uh, so the way that we're going to do that is we're going to use this e event, um, this uh, uh, event information. And one of the items that's part of that, uh, uh, that event is going to be the, uh, the source of the event. And actually, let's take a look at the um, uh, let's take a look at the uh, documentation for this. So, if we look at um, table view row and the events of table view row, so here's table view row um, event. Actually, we need to look at table view. When the events is click, and then 
the properties, uh, one of those properties is source. And so that's the piece that we want to actually look at. There's actually other stuff in here like row, which row was selected. Um, uh, we could use that, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with uh, looking at the source um, and uh, use that for our, uh, our handler. Okay, so what I'm going to do is see whether or not e dot source dot uh, e dot uh oh it's autocorrect has some issues so e dot um, source dot object name I want to check to see if that is list when row and if it is, then I'm going to do the following. I'm going to set row equal to e.source. Um, and then I'm going to uh, uh, use this detail module. So I'm going to set detail equal to require UI slash detail. So this is, uh, so I'm going to basically be using the module that I've just created. Uh, and then uh, what I want to do is set detail equal to new detail. And then I'm going to pass to this the um, row dot title. So this is the, uh, uh, the data that's in the particular row. Uh, and then I'm going to uh, pass to it uh, more detailed information. Actually, let me create another a message. Um, and this is just going to be row dot title plus uh, row dot title plus um, is at row number and then row dot row index. So just a, a message that we'll place in the middle of the screen. So pass that along. And then um, what I need to do is open up that. So I'm going to use nav. Actually, it should be underscore nav. Dot open detail. And then I'm going to animate this. Okay, so, um, so this should then um, display uh, a new window that will have uh, one as the title, or sorry, the, uh, the row as the title, and then it should display a message in the middle of the screen. So let's do that, run it. Okay, so here's our simulator. And then my rows, I select the row, and then there's my message. And I can navigate back and get two and three and finally four. Okay, so uh, anyway, so that's the, uh, um, that's what uh, this, uh, um, that's what this event listener is doing. It's uh, it's allowing us to click on a row and then open up a new uh, new window. There's a number of other things that we could be doing. Um, for instance, deleting rows and, and whatnot, um, which uh, we will see in uh, in a subsequent lesson. But anyway, uh, that completes uh, this uh, second part of using table views and navigation.